What's going on, y'all? Letting everybody get in here and get the notifications. Um, let's see. Go ahead and get ready before I get started. I also got a guest joining me as well. So, bear with us for a second. And y'all been asking for this. Y'all been asking for this to for us to go ahead and uh, and do this. So I wanted to do it and I wanted to do it right. I wanted to do it proper. I didn't want to uh, get on here and be misinformed about the situation or the delicacy of, of, of the situation. So I wanted to get, um, excuse me, I'm getting messages now. I wanted to be correct about what we're about to talk about here. So I've had my fair share of education of the situation. Um, unfortunately, a tragedy has happened um, amongst the black community, if you will. And there's a lot of different stories that's coming out right now about the Kanika Jenkins uh, murder or death or accident. Everybody has an opinion so far. There are facts, there are conspiracies, all of the above. But continue to share because I want y'all to keep sharing and share this video, share this video, share this video, and continue to share this video because I see that others are saying share this video. So from my I guess you can say um, personal opinion and from what I've added up so far based off facts and experience and understanding of a culture and lifestyle I'm about to break down exactly what has happened and this is coming all the way from Memphis Tennessee so we're about to uh, get some some good well get some good input on what exactly happened in this situation so continue to share the video as much as you can possible and um, some of you may love what we're talking about some of you may not like what we're talking about but I've had it up to here you know how you doing what's up, what's up Sosa I've had it up to here with this shit you know um, especially to my black community y'all have pissed me off at such an ultimate level I'm pissed the fuck off. You know, these recent events which have occurred, you some bitches should be ashamed. The outpour of ignorant shit that I'm seeing so far on my Facebook, on my social media, on my YouTube. Um, a colleague just let me know just a few minutes ago that Somebody got shot at mint. A fire, a fire, uh, a fireman got shot at mint or what or whatnot. And he was visiting Memphis. He was visiting out here, you know. Now, people get killed and murdered in some fucked up, humiliating ways. But you son of a bitches, you sit there and you don't say a word. You you keep the G-code. You don't snitch. You don't say nothing. I got friends that have died, that have got wrongfully killed, murdered. But not once, I mean, because I kept hearing about this don't snitch, don't tell, don't do this, don't do that type of shit going on. But shit, we got one situation that just pissed me off recently a young lady unfortunately is deceased but there's a difference between the two you say what's the difference between the people that you know out there in the streets that have got gunned down that have got murdered beaten battered bruised hurt 
What's the difference between her situation and this media frenzy that these the media frenzy that these Facebook I'm a detective people are putting together? The difference is this here. This young lady, young lady, Janika Jenkins, besides a conspiracy being put out on it, she placed herself in a negative, negative, plus negative situation. And you some bitches out here gossiping, playing lifetime detective and shit, this ain't motherfucking USA. I don't see no fucking... Uh, th th this this gotta be oh that oh that going on oh that's going on that going on. Some of you motherfuckers need to stop letting these crackheads become popular off of fucking social media by saying stupid ass shit. It's dumb as hell that y'all are sitting here letting these junky ass chicks and, and, and dudes sit. Uh, oh oh, it's a dude in the background. I see him. I see him. He got a felock jacket on with some Reebok shoes on. Get the fuck out of here with that. Now, you raise a conspiracy about a young lady saying that they did this, they did that. The only way I will go off of it, and I want my people to think, think first. Think, people, think before you run the judgment and start believing these drugged up ass, junky ass, just sleeping on the motherfucking. Mattress bad ass motherfuckers that's trying to get popular and trying to create some conspiracy off of somebody's death. Think first. What secrets, what diabolical plan was Kanika Jenkins finna stop through the government? Why would they spend, you know, it's, it takes millions of dollars. It's millions of dollars. It takes millions of dollars to tamper with. A digital video. A digital video. Let me educate you some bitches. Hey, Liz, how you, how you doing? It takes millions of dollars to tamper with a digital video. The reason why I see if a detective, if the police department gets the, 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 the actual video, the detective and the, the IT department, what they can do, they can find out if the digital code has been removed. If it has been tampered with. You cannot fuck with a digital video. People. To you uneducated ass motherfuckers that's trying to support this conspiracy theory. The video that's released by the news is the real fucking video, people. You have these little CST motherfuckers that sit in class and they think it's cool to say, Hey, look, y'all seen that Kanika Jenkins video? Watch this. Oh, shit. Is that... Pull, pull the, pull the little, the little uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air when, when Carlton is running. Pull that right there and shade it out and dim it down and run it right across the feature. Oh shit! Look like somebody's running. Oh shit! That's what they do, and they they put that little video out as being cute, and then y'all bite onto it. So, oh, that's her. Oh, that's a dude with her. That's a, that's somebody with. It's not. It's these idiot ass little motherfucking computer geeks putting together these videos. To fuck with you. If this was a fake video, because now this is a this is a, a, a urban crime. This is something that happened within the community. They did this amongst the community. Somebody that is within your society. Kanika Jenkins was a average black urban, I guess you can say ghetto, however you want to say it, a uh, uh, victim of, of the ghetto society, of uh, poverty or whatever like that. And she put herself in a negative situation. And here come these. Uh, oh, oh, I heard something. I heard her say help. I heard her say help. I watched the live video that y'all was talking about. It was fucking idiotic. Saying that, oh, I heard people talking in the background. And they did this and they did that. I listened with my Beats by Dre high def headphones. Heard not not a damn thing that these people were saying. I was like, where is that shit come? I don't. I'm trying to. And I, we stay in the studio like forever. We're we're hyping. We're 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 we're, we're taking the, the volume of it, putting it to. We're, we're taking out all the distorted sounds, 
and we listened, and there was none of that shit that y'all was saying. None of it. A lot of you idiots, and I'm not talking about some of the just the casual, you know, common suicides that are just curious. A lot of these idiots are purposely tweaking everything about this girl's case, this girl's situation, and what happened, the tragedy. It's a tragedy that she died. But millions upon millions of white kids die by drinking and being left. The only crime here was neglect, people. She was neglected. Now, if your friend's drunk, out their fucking mind, and you let them drive home, and they have a serial fucking car wreck, that's neglect in my opinion. That's what happened here. Have you ever let your, 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 your other one, you know, your, your friend, whoever, they be in your house and they're in one spot and next thing you know, their head's in the fucking toilet or they're on top of the fucking roof? I've seen it. She was neglected. She was left alone to her own devices while she was under the influence. But you some bitches are letting these idiotic motherfuckers get Facebook famous, YouTube famous by putting up these idiotic ass rants. And then when they get this proved wrong, they sit there and spin it. They spinning this shit. They spinning it out of control. Uh, um, 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 well, you know what, y'all? They, 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 they tweet the video. No, bitch, you was wrong. You got your little five minutes of motherfucking fame, and that's it. You're fucking wrong. Look, I'm from motherfucking Memphis. We don't play that dumb shit. This young lady, and it's obvious, these young ladies were up to no good at, at this hotel party. They were inviting the negative of negative people. They were inviting D boys, little, no, little, little do boy ass niggas that's selling dime bags and shit like that. They, they were trying to make a quick little come up. Because you hear the comments about the $200 and this and that. Selling pussy. We do it in Memphis. I was once a part of that lifestyle. Little fast ass girls rent out a hotel and they calling it a set. This is a set, y'all. Hey, y'all, come get up at our set. Come check us out. Hey, you want the address? We ain't gonna say it out loud. Airbox. Did you, did, did you not understand that? Did you not see the... So, we gonna twist her negative and say, Oh, what? It's a conspiracy. It's not a fucking conspiracy if, it, if it's in your face. Now, negative, negative, it was bound to be some negative shit go on. Either, thank you, Elizabeth. Elizabeth said that was, that, they was definitely in different gangs. It was obvious that something negative would happen after this. Now, that's like going to the folk, the most... It's like going to a club. Let, 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 let me sympathize with you. It's like going... It's like going to a club and rival gangs, that are known rival gangs are in the building. And you decide to go to this ghetto ass, low security ass club and be a part of this party. And then you get shot as a parent. Oh my gosh, I knew my son was going there, but he got shot. I'm shocked. How the fuck are you shocked? When you're of knowing that there were two rival gangs, this is a, a well-known spot where shit goes down. It was a negative, negative, negative. You don't get positive out of that. Maybe in some whimsical ass fantasy movie you get that, but this is reality, people. This young lady put herself in a negative, negative, negative situation. What more do you want? Don't twist her fucking negative and turn it into a fucking government conspiracy. Her situation wasn't worth that goddamn much, people. It wasn't worth that motherfucking much. But you idiots are out here fucking with this girl's death, the tragedy. The points that need to be made about this and that need to be taught about this lesson are not being taught. Y'all are sitting here promoting the negative. You're promoting sex. You're promoting sex upon sex that are nothing but negative situations. You're telling girls that, hey, y'all go, go create these, these whack ass sets and bring all these people on. You're, let, you're giving that a pass. You're not pointing out the, the, the real shit that need to be pointed out here. A young girl took her ass to a low-budget ass hotel, surrounded herself with people that she don't really fuck with. It ain't family. Talking about popping pussy for, 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 for 
umpteen nothing but for, for popping pussy for uh cell phone money. That's really what it is. Cause there ain't none of y'all selling pussy for a thousand dollars, three thousand dollars, five thousand. You selling pussy for lower than fucking a hundred dollars. Let's keep it real. We got that much. They were trying to be fast. Get some dick. I'm sorry to be blatantly honest, but I'm pissed the fuck off. Because this shit has grown to an all time. I'm tired of I, I stepped away from radio for a reason. I got tired of the dumb shit. I got busy in life. I stepped away from Goody Girl Radio for a reason. I only talk when people say, hey, give me your opinion on this, Tishon. Talk to us, Tishon. And what you think, what you think. I come out and I say something. But I go back and hide where I go. But thank you. Ralph, thank you. Ralph said, it's cool. If she get high and come commit suicide, as long as we can blame the death on the government. It's the government's fault on this one, people. But we're going to miss the main point. This girl was at a fucking hotel for to sell some pussy. The lesson needs to be, young ladies, this needs to, well, need to be a chance for people to say, Hey, young ladies, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cut this shit out. Look, there's better ways to make money. This shit is a lesson what not to do. Look at what she surrounded herself with. You see that? Don't do that. Taking your ass to your friend's friends set is not what you need to do. Fuck that. Don't trust that shit. Fuck these motherfuckers. Don't do that. You see what happened to her. They allowed her to get drunk. Now, the only thing I can say that possibly could have been something that happened, but it didn't, is that she got roofied. But if she was roofied, she would not be able to walk. So she was drunk out of her fucking mind, beyond her means. Yes, she was drunk. And if you ever dealt with a drunk person, you would know that when they're drunk, they can be so damn drunk that they would wobble. And, and my cousin got. I, I, I mean, I'm sorry, cuz, if you're watching this, cousin, I apologize, man. I'm putting your business out there, but he got drunk. And we found him, we was in the neighborhood. We found him in another apartment complex. Drunk as hell. He walked that motherfucking far, wobbling in shit. That's what I'm saying. And I like, shout out to Valerie Rose. I like what Valerie Rose was talking about. No, she, she's pushed, putting together a program to help people. You know, uplift the community. This situation needs to be discussed on a level of where you don't look at it as though, oh, it's a conspiracy. No, it's not a conspiracy. She put herself in a negative, negative, negative situation. We didn't expect nothing positive happen out of that. So, what ended up happening was a tragedy. Sadly to say, as it should. Nothing positive should come out of situations like this. When you're putting yourself in a hotel, you're putting yourself in the company of goombas, cronies, phony ass little dime pinching motherfuckers, and you're wondering why the result is, is, is not so likewise? That should be a lesson. Talk behind this, people. Stop the ignorance. There are too many. There are too many. Too many of my friends that died. Nobody said shit. Nobody said a word. Everybody was keeping the G code. Everybody was keeping it real. Nobody said a fucking thing. But you saw them bitches getting on fucking Facebook. No education. Playing detective. We got real detectives out here. Real community involved detectives. If you're so fucking smart, hop your ass in school, get a fucking degree, go out and teach the urban community. Hey, let's let's try this career field. Change the game. But you motherfuckers trying to villainize the wrong motherfucker now. Correction, her friends, they were on they they need to be. Slapped in the fucking face for being that fucking thottish. Guess I went to Chicago with it. Thottish. They need to be slapped in the face for that. For that stupidity. Of influencing a friend. To be a part of such fuck shit. Yes. But are they guilty of murder? The reason why certain portions of the video. Because they say certain, certain videos are not shown. Because they may have a camera inside of the. Um, I got where they got a camera inside of the. The uh, freezer of some sort. Of a direct angle. Which shows her in there. But this is my thing. 
that's something that they only show far as within the case. If there was a, a real trial going behind this, people. But then that's that's a young lady, and that's not going to be shown. They can't show that much. But I'm telling you, she died by being placed in well, placed herself and she walked in. She wandered into a freezer and was too fucking drunk to get back up. Not saying we don't have to say that she locked herself in there. Hell, she she was drunk. Delirious out of mind. Was tired. Fell down in the freezer. Tired. And laid off. Many people have. have there are people that have died. Because a lot of. It's, it's, it happens a lot within white society. That people usually look at. You know. I hate to be so. Racist with this one. But I'm trying, not trying to be racist. But saying that a lot of cases that I've heard. And, and some of my friends would tell me about it. Always be some. One of them um, uh, Brett. My partner Brett. His, his buddy. Which is white. Both of them were white. And uh, he got drunk and wandered off into the... They was out there in... Ah, uh, was it Minnesota or something? They got drunk. Damn, I said I was going... I was going to uh, put that down properly. But he got drunk and wandered outside in the cold and died. Because he was he stayed out there drunk. Um, There's several other different cases that I've heard of. People wandering off drunk like that. And especially in the cold. But she wandered off, people. I mean, yeah, I mean, you got, you got, it's, it's so many ways that people can, can, you know, and it depends on how, how drunk was she, how much, you know, you got to look at the, um, the autopsy too. But this doesn't, shit like this doesn't take a, a, a mastermind criminal killer. Answer dude question because I know you got a good answer. Okay, is, is there a question? Let me see. Hold up, hold up, hold up, y'all. Somebody asked the question. It was definitely a different game. Okay, now I, I, I answered. Um, I answered my homie question. I answered his. Answer dude question because I know you got a good answer. Elizabeth, tell me what's dude's question because I, I think I answered. If you talk about my homie, I answered his question. Uh, Valerie says I just feel. That we all need to wait for the autopsy. Yeah, but still, <clears throat> even the autopsy, there's only a few things that can come about. Oh yeah, I asked, I answered Ralph's question. I thought I did, but I, I go back to Ralph's question now. I'll, uh, uh, I'll put it back out there again. But um, as I as I spoke about the autopsy of the report of her of her death, now there's only so many ways this can go. Of course. She's placing up, but I'm looking at the only thing I can think of is some how somebody can get criminalized or, or, or villainized in this one is if there was some type of influence of, of Rufy right there, or just it's just the drugs that were involved. If there was more drugs involved besides the liquor, besides her being drunk, you know. But the, the biggest crime I see in this one is neglect. You know, she wasn't slashed and dashed, she wasn't shot. You know, she she was she was known. I'm pretty sure they knew she was fucked up. She was drunk, and I've been in these parties. I've been at these scenes, and I see how people treat their drunk friends. I see how you treat your drunk friends. You laugh at them. <laughs> oh, she fucked up, nigga. <laughs> Damn, don't girl, don't touch my friend. Leave her alone. Is you fucked up, uh, uh, bitch? You had not a fuck. Y'all stay fucking with them. Y'all don't do nothing to, most of the time, they don't do nothing to pretend they just laugh at their friends because they drunk. So, in actuality, you think that these people editing a video. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Let me tell you something, Elizabeth. Elizabeth says, y'all, Elizabeth's question is, so, in actuality, you think that all these people editing videos. The other drunk person, most people think that's turn off. Yeah. Um... I, I well, I'm gonna. She, she says, yeah, nobody really wants to deal with a drunk person. To most people, that's turn off. Yeah, you, you do. Just, you just make mockery of them. We do this. I, go. Matter of fact, go to a party tonight, this Saturday night. Watch somebody get drunk and watch how they get treated. They may get you no know, set to the side, but if you're dancing and you, you're in the middle of the party, you go and sit them to the side, put them somewhere. They might wonder what walk off, or they may just stay there and sit down. But you go. You're not gonna play grandma and granddaddy with them. Uh, same here. I feel her friends only need to be charged with neglection, if anything. But it was two young men following her, and they need to find them. Okay, and also to, okay, what I was talking about with the edit parts. 
Now, before the media puts out the video, especially especially from the detectives, before they put out the video, they got to run it through a code search. They got to actually find out, look, check out the digital coding. Your digital coding on your video, for you people that do not know this, they can tell if it's tampered with. And then they will, they will claim tampered with evidence. That means that video, because certain co portions of it will be taken out. So they'll know, okay, this, this has been tampered with. Somebody's placed, this ain't, this ain't the real video. You can't duplicate that, people. You do need to know that. So the one that the news has put out, that's the real video. The ones that, that's being unleashed by the social media, that's a fake fucking video. It's easy to tamper with a video and do it, but now it's not easy to, you, you can't recode it unless the government just blocks it, was to block it out. But the, the question you got to ask yourself, well, if you want to raise conspiracy, how important was Janika? Like, how important was she? I mean, I'm sorry, Jenkins. Kanika Jenkins. How important was she with the government? And this big conspiracy was like, yo, we're going to change her whole death. We're going to do this. Like, how important? What did, what did she do? Who did she know? What government diabolical plan did she stop? What police officers? What police officers did she? What police department did she frame? What history does she have with them? So that's the question. That is the, that is the, the the main fucking question to what is really going on. Let me take this call real quick, y'all. Hello. Oops. No, I'm sorry. Well, that was the government, y'all. <laughs> they said set the shit down. Anyways, um, but no, that's the main thing you have to understand is that well, if this, if this is really conspiracy, then how important was she? Like, what fucking government official? What mayor? What? Who did she deal with? Did she fuck with one of these guys? Like, that's a conspiracy. Okay, if you got if you gonna raise those points, then okay, all right. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll rock with you on a video being tampered with, but it's almost nearly impossible to make a legit video and not have it found out by the powers that be because they're going to see that you took the coding. The coding has been messed up. For those who are not, who don't know the fuck I'm talking about, they say, oh, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Okay, um, if you put a video on your, on your computer, go to the property or, or go to the setting of it. And when you pull back, it's going to have a coding on it. You, if you people doing that right now, you'll see it. And there's the coding to it. And when you're editing the video, there's a whole layout. Like every, every digital scene, there's a coding. And it goes in order. Now, the only way somebody can play something on there, it's like um, if you're in the studio, you're making some music and putting sounds. You, you ever seen Fruit Loops, the program Fruit Loops? When you're putting a certain sound over it, you're going to see the original, but you're going to see the added shit. The original is always going gonna, gonna to be a certain tone. But it's going to be added. But you'll be able to know. And it's going to always have a defined code. It's going to show when it was placed. The date, the time, and everything. So, they would know. Oh, this is a fake. That's, that's why they're always able to tell if you edit something. If you alter something. If you alter the audio. They're going to be able to tell. This ain't the original. Like, oh, shit. This ain't the original. No, it ain't the original. That's why if you, you go to certain authentic places. When they're buying. Or it's like when, um, if somebody would say, I got a Michael Jackson tape of Michael Jackson and motherfucking Prince singing. Where did you do? Let me see the audio. And they take the they take the audio and hit the digital track and they look at it and they'll add it up. This ain't this ain't original. This is not real. One of them's dim, dimmer and darker. One of them is actually no. This is not real. They'll know that it's a fake copy. So people think if this is a fake, if, if everything was fake, then this woman, this this young woman, must have been in some real shit. If the government and, and or the fascists that be the elite. Chimed in to do something to stop this this chick or, 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 or get her Tupac out of this motherfucker to get her big and small out of this motherfucker. That that she must have been a part of. She must, like I said, if she was selling ass, she must have fucked one of the, the higher up Congress members or something like that. But I don't think this is case because that's it takes a lot of money to uh, try to authenticize and then cover up. To tell the police department, say, hey, yo, cover that up real quick. Uh, what we want you to do is um, uh, send a fake video out. A clean, a clean one that's just showing her by herself. That, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of goddamn pool. And I don't think this girl was that goddamn important. I don't, it, it, 
if anything, they wouldn't let it. They wouldn't let it get that goddamn noticeable to where she's in a fucking hotel with working cameras. People, they don't work like that. Like, I don't like how my black community is not opening the fuck up and calling these people and telling these people to shut the fuck up. Like y'all letting these junky ass, especially it's a lot of junky ass chicks and a lot of junky ass dudes. Uh, the most highs and highs motherfuckers, nappy ass weave and shit sitting around. Oh yeah, yeah. Popping pills and shit. I'm telling y'all, I know this. I know what I heard. I, I know this. I know I know. No. Stop it. Stop it. You 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 supporting these motherfuckers that's feeding you a fantasy. If you have not noticed yet lately, y'all, in the world right now, it's all about fantasy. Everything is conducive to fantasy right now. You might know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like, what do you mean to son? Why are you going so goddamn so goddamn worldly with this this this, this twist of fantasy fantasy it's just like a junky fucking world everything is about fantasy you want to live a fantasy lifestyle some of y'all live a lifestyle of something different odds are the majority of y'all live in a, a different lifestyle right right some of y'all living like a some of y'all living like a fantasy you're taking pills you're taking drugs you're opting out into a what a fantasy so therefore your natural craving to have a video of, oh, it's three guys in the back. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, hi. Uh, he, he, he got on some fucking Calvin Canine. Oh, shit. I see it. I see it. What? Is one dude over there? He laughing at him. What the fuck? Is, even the audio. You're hearing shit that ain't even there. Fuck was they hearing that shit from? It's fantasy. You're trying to be a part of something. That's not a part of you. Because whether you know it or not, you, my people, y'all are real. You are real. Pinch yourself. Touch yourself. Smack yourself. You real. But when you alter your fragile little mind to, to, to come out and be a part of a fantasy, that's what you are. You're living in fantasy. Yes, you are, my dear. You're living a fantasy. Now, who am I to say that, hey, you should be living that fantasy? Keep living it. No, all right. I, I'm, I don't condone it, but, hey, you know, you got to do what you got to do, to, I guess, to get by, to make yourself feel good, you know. But in actuality, this was a, a fucking fantasy that you guys are trying to work up. Like I said, now, I'm still open to a conspiracy, but that's my, my thing that I'm shedding to my people out here is that I'm open to conspiracy only if it makes fucking sense. I don't think y'all understood me. If it makes fucking sense. It doesn't make sense. But. If it makes sense. If it makes sense. I'm open to you talking about a conspiracy. This doesn't make This doesn't make any type of sense. If you show me something where her dad's a part of the Baphomet. Or her dad fucking fucked the, the mayor's wife. Okay. Alright. I got you. Maybe. Something did have maybe something, you know, but you're telling me that a young lady that was in that club. So the government and the, the elite fascism media is protecting some goons and a thought girl who's crying on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. I, I, thank you, Elizabeth. Elizabeth says, right, she says, it doesn't make sense now. She had no reason to be sacrificed. I mean... Unless, like I said, unless, uh, unless it was those, it, some, some things that we don't know about as far as her family is a part of this, somebody was, was doing some of this, man, okay, but you not finna get me a bunch of motherfucking junkies on no fucking Facebook or no damn YouTube to start preaching to me some fucking fantasy. Fuck out my face with that shit, man. I'm from motherfucking South Memphis. Don't come to me with, with some whole ass shit about some fake ass shit and trying to get me to follow you and be out, man, fuck y'all, man. I ain't, I ain't with that shit, dog. I'm not with that. Sorry for all the profanity. Not sorry, but this is not for your your, your annual uh, uh, church groups, whatever they do, church folks. But I'm just going to keep it as funky as I can possible. Dude, once again, I apologize. I'm from South Memphis. This is how we do shit. Well, this is how I do shit. But I can't stand this. This, this I mean, y'all been asking me to speak on this shit and talk about this shit. And I told y'all didn't want to talk about this shit because it looks stupid. But I see all of these other motherfuckers getting popular or, or viral videos and shit like this off this fuckery. Really, you need to be thought shaming. 
Because all y'all are provoking and in, or invoking is 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 putting young girls in situations like this. That she was not willing, she was not took there against her will. She went there. You need to be trying to talk to your your your, your daughters, talk to your your sister, your, your little sister, your older sister. Whoever the fuck is you the youngest, talk to the oldest. If you see them doing dumb shit like that, if you see them putting themselves within a negative, negative, negative situation, talk to them. Tell them that you care. Say, hey, look. Don't, don't go to that, that, that shit, man. I see what you're doing to make money. Don't do that. A lot of my, 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 my colleagues, they don't know other ways of making money. All they know is a negative. If you look at it, everything that we put in front of our faces, we watch power. Power is a, it's an easy way to make money than, than doing something, trying to money launder and, and clean up money. You thinking that oh, I got to sell dope and do this and do this. Or the, the logical way is become a rapper. Y'all don't know other ways. Because... I blame some of, our, some of our, our college colleagues. They're not even coming back down to communities to tell like, hey, it's another way. Every, every fucking millionaire, and I, I'm not going to name drop a couple of the black millionaires that are in Memphis, but y'all know sometimes they throw parties. I said it. But a lot of these niggas, they're not even telling. You notice they don't hold seminars. They don't talk to the, 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 the black community. They don't say, hey, look, this is how y'all can make some money. This is how you can do this. Because they don't want no other black people making money in Memphis. Hmm? Hmm? Did I hurt somebody's feelings? Notice they're not saying shit to you to help you make money. They keeping you in the in, in the dirt. That's why black so-called millionaires in Memphis. They don't help the younger ones. They don't help everybody else out. They, they keep you thinking that you're supposed to do gangster ass shit, thottish ass shit to make a come up and hopefully make a come up. They advertising that if you're a Cardi B, maybe if you can you can shake a couple of ass, you can make a couple of dollars. But there are other ways, legit ways of making money and getting where you need to be getting. That's why young women such as Kanika Jenkins think that I can probably make some fast cash by holding the look, going to this little set and fucking whoever I need to fuck or fuck or hang around who I need to hang around and maybe they'll drop me a couple of dollars. Maybe that'll work. That's what she looked at as a result. Look at what placed her in that place. But into these black millionaires in my city, don't throw no fucking party. Don't ask for my fucking, my, my, my friend's business. You ain't sitting there, you ain't holding no fucking seminar. You ain't helping nobody but your pussy ass self. That's all y'all doing. So I don't want to hear this shit, bro. Like I said, I told y'all I ain't want to talk about this fucking subject, man. Y'all been asking me to put my input on this. I'm going to put my input on this shit. But I'm tired of it. This shit, can, everybody can be blamed for this shit. But to my, to my, my local people, man, look. There are better ways of making money. Better ways of making money. I'm living proof, man, that I, I've been through it all. Some of it all. I've seen a lot of it. Shit. My nigga Joe Gotti, a.k.a. Joe Young Spike, tried to reach out to people. <clears throat> he, he was holding groups of studies. He was trying to reach out to people. There's a lot of people that tried. But Joe was out there in Atlanta making money. Shout out to my nigga. Y'all can tag him and tell him I, I talked about it. But... That's my thing, man. Even when we look in our, in our local cities, our fucking black millionaires, our, they're not even trying to, because they, they trying, I guess they're just trying to fend for themselves. That's why I say, hey, I protest, I protest they fucking parties. Fuck they party. Fuck they club. Nigga, until you start contributing knowingly, don't do it secretly. Because I hate that shit. I hate that shit. I hate when they try to say, I, I do my shit privately. Fuck that. That's not impacting nobody, bro. You're not helping nobody. We need to see what's going on, because our urban community, they need to understand that there's other ways. There's things to get involved in. But the only reason why that young lady, Kanika Jenkins, was in that situation is because she didn't know no fucking better. She thought that going to a fucking hotel, a low-budget-ass hotel at that, was the way to make her maybe some cell phone money, maybe some pill pop, whatever. Or just to please her friends. But it was all about money. Which really ain't fucking money. That ain't even two hundred something dollars. That ain't even rent money, dog. But these girls were gathering to do what they got to do. They put themselves in a negative, negative situation. So everything that everybody's looking at is totally fucked. And I just hate how the, you, we're glorifying the wrong. Well, I'm sorry, I ain't glorifying the wrong. But I hate how these motherfuckers are getting hopping on Facebook and Twitter and glorifying the wrong portions of this, man. Like for real. They glorifying the wrong parts of this. You're, 
It's like you're distracting us. It's like it's like when they they, they do these these fucking uh these fucking um. Uh, and to the to the, the inbox, somebody asked me, "Can they fl- follow me?" You can follow me, people. You I don't care. You can follow whatever page you, you want to. Yes, you can follow me. But the the glo- it's like it's like these fucking these marches. People are always marching and protesting. It's a distraction, y'all. I've been knowing this shit since the '90s, man. My family been on this shit. You know. Valerie just said it right. We need to educate our children instead of putting these phones in their hands and letting society raise our children. Did I read that right? But y'all got to wake the fuck up, man. For all y'all that's buying into this Kanika Jenkins story, which is distracting the fuck out of y'all, because y'all missing the whole fucking point. That's why I hate when crackhead motherfuckers get a fucking Facebook in their hand and they, now they, they turn into the motherfucking Jesus detective of uh, <laughs> Ace Ventura all of a sudden and now they're that 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 Dick Tracy on on, this, on social media and just just, just I mean just goddamn I, I I would hate for them motherfuckers try to solve my fucking murder oh my gosh y'all gonna arrest my goddamn mama I'm keeping it real these motherfuckers are so stupid they've been to fucking arrest my mama and shit like it, it, it put her in the conclusion no people no it's not that bro it's not that you motherfuckers need to wake the fuck up and get these idiot motherfuckers learn how to just dis- just learn how to decode the fuck shit. Because I just can't stand the fact that what they glorifying. They're glorifying uh, SVU ain't getting no looks. Facebook took over seriously. Who is SVU? What's SVU, y'all? But yeah, I mean it, it's it's just ridiculous how they're letting this thing be spent. Yeah. It, they they spent it from what it, the focus the focus of this Kanika situation is totally took and wrong. Everybody's trying to play criminal minds. Y'all trying to live out y'all little criminal mind fantasies of solving somebody's m- perceived to be murder instead of symbolizing it. Okay, well it looks like this is this is that this is the only thing. Let me take this call, y'all. Hello. Ah, oh, you got the wrong number. No, this is this is not not their number. Thank you. Well, I guess the government want to talk. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, oh, special victims unit. Their TV show. Yeah. Okay. I was about to say. See, I, I, I didn't even catch that myself. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. But yeah. Um. Y'all spinning the wrong goddamn way, man. Because this needs to be a lesson to our community. And it just amazes me. Doesn't it amaze you that where is these detectives when Lil Ray Ray gets shot or Lil Kanika get, get choked out or somebody's house gets vandalized, somebody who, who can't really afford the, they're living paycheck to paycheck, their place gets vandalized. Where are these detectives at? Since when we get these great detectives in the community? But yet, we get junkies. Oh, yes. We get junkies on Facebook to tell us how they're going to solve a murder. Wow. How they could have solved the Bin Laden situation. Wow. This is it's awesome. I think it's, I think it's, it's comical because I, I did not want to talk about this shit, man. But it's just ridiculous. We we getting all these motherfuckers just telling us this bullshit, diverting us from the real. It's like the government used to, they used to do it to us. They used, they used to make sure they used to spin us, but now we're so fucking confused that we spin ourselves. We doing it naturally, innately. We're spinning ourselves in the wrong direction. We turned this shit into a conspiracy when it was clearly open shut case. It's neglect, people. She was neglected for the wrong, you know, she put herself in a negative situation and got a negative result. She was neglected. Sad situation. But I see my community going down, going down, getting dumber, 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 and dumber. (sighs) What are we going to do about this? You know, 
Valerie gave some, some input on what we can do about this, but we gonna it's, it's gonna take more than us, more than more than just this rant that you're watching me on this fucking live stream. It's gonna take more than this. It's gonna take more than just me getting on your ass. We gotta change shit, y'all. We can't be so fucking gullible, man. Y'all too fucking gullible. Y'all letting this fuck shit pers persuade you? Like, nah, bro. No, 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 no. That's not how we. That's not how it goes. No, I, I, I had to go get out on your ass. This, this, that's not how it goes. No, you don't let this shit twist y'all head, man. That girl's death is a tragedy. <clears throat> sure enough. But like I said, more and more people of other nationalities, white people, everybody, there's a lot of deaths of people getting drunk and wandering off. And the most craziest things happening to them. But y'all want to sit here and turn it into a conspiracy and glorify the lifestyle. That lifestyle, that's what drug her into that situation. Now, people were telling me that that's bad parenting. Maybe, maybe bad parenting, you know, but it's only so much that the parents can do nowadays because you have to influence. Like, like I said, it's like it's a junkie, it's a fantasy junkie culture right now. You know, look at, listen to hip hop right now. You can't not listen to hip hop and not get the feel for pill popping, Molly, Xanax, Percocet. Everything's about being a talker. You got to smoke drug, weed, this, that. You got to do something that's going to take you from reality. It's going to entune you to something, one track. You got to take, it's, it's all about junkie lifestyle. You got to be a junkie. That's the cool, like those the most smartest motherfuckers are. Motherfuckers is, ah, this fucking bad. That's, that's the wise motherfucker now. Like that's, that's who we looking to. That's, that's our big uncle. L little Junior, Junior, thank you, Uncle Junior. That's him. No, bruh. Stop letting the media fuck you. Stop letting them do that. Because y'all are spinning yourself on your own. Talking about a edited fucking video. Okay. I would have believed a Dick Gregory conspiracy theory, but him dying, other than even though he was like 90 pushing 100 and something. I would have believed that shit other than this shit. I'm just saying. But, no. Why would they edit her video? Out of all people, her video. What did, what fucking Rise of People program was she putting together? Why are y'all spinning her death? You're spinning her death and, and, and the media's loving this shit. They loving it that you did it to yourself organically. You fooling yourself organically. You're making a series out of her death when there's nothing to it. They love that shit. They have. No, they probably sitting there having a feeling. <laughs> niggers, <laughs> these niggers, and it's a black guy probably saying it. Niggers, they they don't understand. They think that it's an altered video. Oh, it's an altered video. It's an altered video, y'all. They think it's an altered video. It's we did not. Did, 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 huh, Senator Parkinson, did you do this? We didn't have to do none of that. They actually think it's an altered video, and their attention is on this altered fake video. You're doing it for them. Like, come on, you, you don't, you don't. That's that's why they just. That's why they sitting there just. Uh, we we just showed them a real video, but they still are still baiting on it's a fake video. Wow. In actuality, like I said earlier, for those who have not been tuned in and, and that are now joining us, thank you for joining. But um, you can't just duplicate or recreate a fake video from the from the real. You can't do that without the coding being fucked with. The coding has to be fucked with it. And a digital investigator, they can tell you that this video is fake and it has been tampered with. Some people just didn't know that. And they're going by the uh, <clears throat> the old Negro way. Oh girl, it work. Oh girl, did you hear this girl? Oh, they, they killed the girl. It's our best friend killed the girl. Oh girl, she killed. Oh yeah, girl. Yeah, she killed. She killed. Oh, oh, oh gossip. Oh gossip, girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop that. Stop that. And stop just running with what your friend said. Because you're gonna run with what your friend said and, 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 and get 
totally bump. And then when you get the facts, everybody looks stupid. Notice how when, when they put out the actual video surveillance, that certain motherfucker that was putting out a video about describing this diabolical murder and solving the case, notice how they shut the fuck up and spent it. Well, uh, 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 well, what I said was, well, well, uh, well, well, uh, they, 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 they messed with the video. They tell me, like, get the fuck out of here. Nigga, you was wrong. You, you crackhead, peace pipe smoking ass motherfucker. You was wrong. Stop poisoning my fucking people. And when I say my people, I don't just say black people. Uh-uh. I'm talking about my people. My people that are on the same wavelength as me. Whether above or higher. Because when you look at the reality of everything, we're all one. I'm sorry, it was two. One. We're all one. Hell, it... If, you, if, if we keep mixing and, 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 and battering up with each other, we're going to be one fucking race and totally. So my, my thing is, uh, qu quite frankly, everybody's my people. As long as we're on, we're on the frequency of getting better. But letting fuck shit like this slide, people, letting this shit ride, no, letting this shit ride, you're going to let these motherfuckers, you're you going you to let these motherfuckers do this shit organically. Look, whenever you get information from somebody, always rate them. Rate them. Look at who the fuck is telling you something. It's, it's, it's like it's like a guy that comes to you and says, "Man, you need to love your woman, man. Be good to your woman." And you see blood all on his knuckles and shit, hair weave in his hand. You need to look at that motherfucker. Hey, nigga, do what? Love my woman, nigga. You got blood on your knuckles. You got. Fucking skin up in your nails and nigga you You got hair weaving your hands Love my woman What kind of loving you doing motherfucker What, what, what y'all finna have a motherfucking You, you, you finna get married now nigga Y'all finna have a rematch nigga What the fuck is you doing This ain't no motherfucking No no nigga no This, this ain't that Look at who's telling you this shit Because Some of these motherfuckers Are just spinning shit Just to get popular on Facebook and YouTube And y'all know I had plenty of attention I've had my spotlight in my little Whatever the hell in the city. So, I don't need the shit. But, my thing is, like I said, I did not want to talk about the shit. But, I can't lie. If I just sit back and I say shit, it, it will... I'll be just, I'll be contradicting myself then. But, please people, stop supporting these dumbass motherfuckers hopping on this motherfucker doing dumb shit, saying stupid shit, keep me all in this whirlwind of frenzy of, of lying. No, that goddamn girl, her tape was not tampered with. All it takes is a couple of CST students to video edit that motherfucker to put a couple of video image screens across of it then make it look like that, um, oh you know what y'all want y'all let's, let's let's watch the video y'all let's watch the fucking video y'all ready to see the video let's do this let's do this shit here let's do this oh continue to share 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 comment all around the room share let's see cuz i'm gonna wrap this bullshit up well, thank, thank you everybody for inboxing me. Um, hold up, let me get to the video real quick because I'm gonna show you what I tell you. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna go one video. Okay, now they're talking about the, uh, this is the this is the, this is the original video. This is the actual video. They were saying that somebody was coming out of their door right there. Nobody's coming out that door. There's no shadow, no glitch, none of that. Yeah, nothing. This is the one where she's going into the freeze area. Getting out the elevator. Now people were they they were saying that somebody's right here and there's people right there walking around. Duh, 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 duh. 
And they were trying to say because of them shadows. That's her fucking shadow. It's, it's, just, it's just a blemish of her. Mo the light right there. That's, it's a light right above her. Like, come on, bro. Shit like this. Just, just, just makes me just want to puke, man. Makes me mo want to motherfucking puke. So y'all just saw the fucking video. That's the actual video. It's the actual video of Kanika Jenkins. Um, it's it's a tragedy, you know. It, it's it's a tragedy. Yes, it is, and it's not good of what happened to her. What happened to her is not a it's not a, a great thing. Of course, it's sad, but. The tragedy is is not to be. We don't. You don't spin that shit. All it all it takes is for with, with a video like this. I would show y'all a whole tutorial on how you do it, but it it probably wouldn't help. But um, matter of fact, I give you guys examples. Go to YouTube and type in uh, fake ghost videos, and look how real. When look how real and authentic these ghost videos be. How they edit and twist shit. Look, look at the before and after videos too. Those videos are fucking. You be like, damn. I thought that was. I thought it was real. They got the before and after ones. But what I'm telling you guys is, when when they do something like this, if they were to show like the like the uh, the videos like this, if they, the altered versions, if they were to show that, they would have to tamper with the coding. And the coding is all. You're gonna have the original coding. You're gonna have the after coding. So they're gonna have the fake. In the real, no matter how many times you you trace, how many times you copy that video, I can guarantee you. Matter of fact, go spend your money and get you a um, get you a, a video or, or a, a tech de a detective. Get them to get get both of these videos and let them let them look at the coding. They'll tell you, oh, that's that's a fake one. Why? Why you say that? Because look, look at that's the original tracing and that's the fake tracing. That's the one that's added on. They'll show you. They will show you that shit. And it ain't hard, especially if, if you got somebody that's in IT, they will show you. Like, it's fake, man. Just a motherfucker that was sitting up in fucking IT class, CST, decided that it was cute to make a fake altered video of Kanika Jenkins. Her death. To play along with her death. That's all it is. Damn. Because if it wasn't, and if it, if it could get disapproved, see, the government ain't that goddamn stupid to where they would do a conspiracy and fuck with a video, they can easily be they can easily be traced and found out as false. Because if somebody actually, if this is actually, if this was actually the fake video, if the real video that they're showing nothing was actually the fake video, that means that you, my detective, my, my internet detectives out there, my, my coders out there, you could you could actually make a video and show this. And you can become popular. You probably can get money for it. But no, the government ain't that fucking stupid. They're just letting these other these idiot motherfuckers spin this shit and keep spinning it and doing it to themselves. Why by diverting us from the real fucking issue here? The real issue is that we got young women out here putting themselves in the most dangerous situations. Young a lot of these young women, they're inspiring. Right nowadays, they're inspiring to be strippers. That's the goal. Nigga, I ain't lying. Go every year, kid you not. Every year, when high school is ending, look at your local stripper bulletin boards. Watch what it says. Class of 2018. Class of 2019. Now hire. That's the route nowadays. Like, that's it. Most of these chicks are looking forward to being a stripper. But strippers ain't really strippers like they were in the past. They looking at being a Professional prostitute. Well, I'm sorry, a high profile prostitute. That's it. That's the goal. Like, they think that's the easiest way to money. And it's not the easiest way to make money. That's why I go back to blaming our so called millionaires in our city. Our black, especially the black millionaires, they're not helping the community at all. Give me a motherfucking party or two, or give me a motherfucking weed store, give me a motherfucking. Motherfucking a uh, 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 bar or lounge. Fuck that's gonna do. You ain't holding no seminars in your bars and your fucking lounge, your clubs. You ain't trying to help no goddamn bird. Can you? 
And motherfucker can't come at me. I put together social social groups, study groups. But I ain't on. I'm not. I'm not a fucking black millionaire. But I, I seen enough to know that it's some fuck shit, man. A lot of this stuff can you can you can take steps to helping your community by cutting off this dumb shit. <clears throat> to the parents out there, to my parents out there, my young, all of you motherfuckers, you got kids. Look, I'm not saying stop listening to the music. Hell, I bought some some of the sounds and tunes, but explain this shit to your child. Explain it to him. Say, hey, don't worry about this, son. Molly and all the type shit. That's that's a, a drug. And explain it to him because the curiosity killed the cat. Kids are gonna get curious. They gonna wanna indulge, and they, they can't make up their mind whether they like it or not because they're just gonna indulge, and then the influence is gonna rush in, and then there you have it. So explain shit like my parents explain shit to me. That's why I guess I'm so alert to certain things out here, people. My parents explained it to me. Sex, drugs, everything. And pointed it out. You see that? See that, son? Look at that. Ah, okay. That's what that is. I didn't have to go shoot up shit up my arm. I didn't have to go try to slice my arm. I didn't have to do none of that damn shit to find out that this shit is fucked up. <laughs> it's fucked up. You know, I, I, I learned from just watching. You know, I had my street lifestyle. But I grew out of all of that shit. No, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't pop pills. I don't. That doesn't make me better than nobody. It does give me a privilege of actually speaking the shit that I know. It doesn't make me better than you. It makes me one step ahead on the grip of what's going on in this fucking world. So with that being said, people, you can share, 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 like this video. You can dislike this video. You can be mad as, as hell. And all that other type of shit. But you can't dispute shit that I'm saying right now. Because. It's just. Simple logic. And brain. You innately know when you being fucked with. You do. So with that being said people. Just because. Y'all been asking me to come back. And, 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 and touch on shit. I'm going to do it. I kind of don't want to do it. But I'm going to do it. You know, if somebody else got a different point of view and, and, and opinion about what's going on, please bring it to me. I'm not high and mighty where I'm, I'm standing above you and not address you, but come with some sense. Because if you're buying this bullshit from these ratchet motherfuckers telling y'all these motherfucking lies about this goddamn girl video, get the fuck up out of here. <clears throat> get the fuck out of here. Dumb shit. Dumb shit. And we got to stop, once again, stop letting our young people be placed in negative, negative situations. And trying to expect the positive out of that. Because Kanika Jenkins' situation was, god damn, that was terrible. Low budget ass hotel. Around fucked up company. D-Boys, dime bag D-Boys. Gang affiliate, all these motherfuckers in, in, in the fucking hotel. Smallest hotel. You can't get niggas to act right in a motherfucking club. How the fuck? We can't get motherfuckers. We can't get niggas to act right down in, in, in fucking on Bill Street. <laughs> How the fuck you expect to get somebody to act right? We couldn't get people to act right in me. I heard a motherfucker get, I heard somebody got shot there. I, I heard somebody got shot at main event. Damn. Gosh. Shit. You know. Now... Gosh, but you want to have sets and all these set talks, everybody having these sets, having set, 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 let's have a set, have a set. Don't let this shit fool you. It's the, the decoding word for having a set nowadays, especially amongst the thoughts. Let's organize our homegirls that we use to attract other guys and bring in some guys that we think have at least our cell phone money, our fucking shit. Our fucking utility money. Let's get them to come in. And hopefully that they will break us a couple of dollars. Or two. Hopefully. That's it. Putting yourselves in the most fucked up situations. Just to earn and scrape something. Look get off your fucking ass and go work. Come up with a plan. Work. Conjure up. Save up money. Invest. Work. 
conjure up, save up money, have a plan. Invest. But right now, I'm going to get back to the fantasy talk. Everybody's living this fantasy lifestyle. This fantasy lifestyle is fucking y'all up, man. You want to live a fantasy. Everybody don't want to be what they really are. They want to live a fantasy. You want to listen to somebody that's going to pitch you a pipe dream. A miraculous story about a young lady who was drunk and her friend, oh, first the story was her friend set her up. Her friend had a diabolical plan that thought that her friend could, could, could she was jealous of her homegirl because the homegirl, well, the guys really wanted her and they heard the guys when they wanted her so she wanted to set her up and go fuck the guy and all that type of shit and they placed her into a, a freezer. Oh yeah, that's what happened. You guys ran with that shit. Oh, fuck. The media frenzy, y'all went skyrocketing. Y'all dabbed on that ass. Y'all was happy. Y'all like, yes. That bitch did it. That bitch did it. Y'all were going bonkers. You were amazed. It was a whimsical day of, of black, urban, ghetto mind detectives. They won. Hooray. You motherfuckers sounded stupid. Because you would have placed people in jail, possibly put somebody away that... For the wrong fucking thing. The same shit that we talked about in the 90s. Talked about people getting accused and put in jail for the wrong fucking thing. Where the government used to have to do that shit. The government used to have to twist shit. But now we organically twist and alter shit and make fantasies out of it. Now the government don't even got to do that to you. So we can be looked. If, if left up to these ghetto fake detectives. If it was left up to them. We would have at least about 10 motherfuckers in jail facing 20 years of life. Putting black people behind bars. See, do you, you, you see how this shit works? Now it happens organically. Where the government used to have to do the shit and trick you into it. Now they don't because you're stupid enough to just fall for it and do it yourself. Like, hey, 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 he did it, he did it. Well, how did he do it? He, um... Oh, he, uh, give me a pill. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, he, uh, he, he did it that way. And he went that, no, he didn't. Bitch, where's the proof? I, I ain't got to have the proof. I know this for a fact. I saw these motherfuckers on Facebook talking about they knew this shit for a fact. They solved the case. They solved the murder. Shut the fuck up. What you solve? Huh? Uh, 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 fucking map crest puzzle? What, what, what the fuck did you just solve? Because clearly, if we went off your fucking information, somebody would be in jail for life for no fucking good, decent reason as far as what they should be amounted for. Like I said, the, the real crime in this one was the fact that we, we lost a young life and then, we get, and then we have young lives out there putting themselves in fucked up negative situations and neglect. These people were irresponsible. And they didn't even help or, 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 or watch after one of their, their fellow friends properly. You know, neglect is the crime here. But, and I do, I, and I do, and I don't, don't want y'all to think that I'm beating down on y'all. Also, I'm blaming the video editors who edited that bullshit. And if you don't know how video editing goes, I, I said it in the beginning of the video, so when this video goes off, eventually... You'll be able to go and, and watch it out. If I break down. I try to break down in, in as many details as I can possible how the fake video got out and how that goes. I've seen these these Geek Squad motherfuckers do this shit. I've seen. I mean, I I ain't. I don't do this shit. I don't make the. I can, I edit video. I can edit the video, but I ain't do it like that. You know, I don't. No, I ain't tamper with shit like that. But there's ways to place things inside of videos, and but it will not be identified as a original copy because of the coding. I told y'all about that. <clears throat> so, but if everybody's jumping on the bandwagon and giving these motherfuckers popular, man, go back to the video and say, fuck you. Tell, no, no, say, hashtag t Sean said, fuck you. Because, all the thing, see, the government's having a field day with the shit, and the media's having a field day with it, because y'all buying attention to it, and y'all focusing on the wrong goddamn thing, so they like, mm, they like it, give it to them, shit, <laughs> Keep feeding them this shit, because they're, they're creating it on their own. But, 
all along, like I said, y'all are diverted from the real fucking issue here. She's dead and gone. True enough. Tragic. True enough. And don't think that I do not feel for the family and friends of Kanika Jenkins. I do. But I'm pretty sure they knew what the fuck was going on. If they didn't, then that's, it, now we got to look at them. You didn't know what, you, what your relative was a part of? That's questionable. Not saying that they did or they didn't. But still, regardless, this young lady was somewhere late at night. So if you didn't know that she was gone, mm, I don't know their personal business about how they go about in their family. But I know how we were and how we are in my family. We don't play that shit. I'm, I was blessed and fortunate enough to have my, my younger sisters and siblings. We, we, we was on their ass about shit. It was on their ass. So we knew where the fuck they was on their shit. And I'm glad all my, my sisters waited till they got older to start fucking off. Because we, we were, my family is tough. We, we're a gangsta ass fucking family that motherfuckers don't fuck with. And I'll stop right there. But we made sure our family was straight. We may not come together and, and click together and think all alike at once. But we don't let bullshit slide upon our family. No... That's a no-no. That's a motherfucking no-no. No. But I'm not talking high-level conscious to you people. I'm just talking just straight, real talk. Y'all got to wake the fuck up. And not just wake up. Hell. Wake up on some knowledge. You know, just question things that happen. Don't sit there and buy into this fuck shit because... And not just things that happen also question the people that are putting this shit out cause a lot of these motherfuckers are just addicts and they just want attention that's it honestly look look at look at the track record it's there but um I don't know man I, I just I feel for where this side is going it's all like I said it's all about the fantasy you know drugs help conduce to your fantasy and a lot of y'all wanted a fantasy outcome of this girl's death. And and don't lie. I, I know I'm making you feel guilty, but don't lie. You wanted a different altered fantasy. You wanted a different ending. You wanted a, a diabolical best friend set up a home girl for this. You want that story. You want that. That's what you want. That's it. You want to run with that. And you want to run with, there got to be another video of somebody like, they take care of her and her. Or the government's covering it up. You want that fantasy of like all this shit going on. Look. This ain't blockbuster, bitch. This ain't that. Reality is you. Fantasy is what they want you to, to indulge in. Fantasy is cool sometimes. I understand some of y'all want to get away from, from the world. But when you when you adopting fantasy to be a part of reality, that's when you fuck. Because like I said before, a lot of y'all don't want to be yourselves. Look at everybody's lifestyle. Everybody want to be something else. Women want to be this. Men want to be that. Deadbeat dads want to be real daddies. They want to be recognized as real daddies. I'm like, no, nah, nigga, you a deadbeat dad. You ain't supporting your goddamn child. You a deadbeat motherfucking dad. So, you, But you want to be acknowledged as a man, but you can't do man shit for your woman. You can't stand by your woman. You can't be truthful to her. So you are, you're, you're a fucking low life. But you want her to acknowledge you as the, the child's father, as a decent father, but you not. Because you can't do shit right for your child. You can't even stand on your own two legs. Fantasy. Facts. Fantasy. But yet, that transcends all the way to this situation. Motherfuckers are putting a fantasy spin on this girl's death, which is disgusting. Some of y'all should be ashamed for this shit. You putting a fantasy spin on somebody's tragedy. The government and the media, they know damn well you cannot alter a fucking video without there being a code, without the code being tampered with. They know that. They're laughing at y'all motherfuckers. Like, <laughs> they really think that this video is, is, is fake. You cannot alter a video. You can't do that without the coding being adjusted. Oh, I mean, being tampered with. The coding has to be fucked with. It has to. And when the coding's fucked with, it'll be off. That stream will be off. Code, then you'll be lapsed up. It's like studio. It's like when they're in the studio and they're making a record. 
Somebody takes an original track, their separate part will still be there. Then there'll be a, a, another, another note, dash right. All of that happens. That's why the, the niggas, the motherfuckers that came up and said, I think it'll be funny if we add a person or try to add a figure, move, move around in the background to, 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 to throw people off. They do that a lot. They alter videos. If you don't believe me, go, go on YouTube. Type in fake ghost comes in the room and touches baby. You'll see the shit. You'll see all this different weird ass shit. But you motherfuckers are putting a spit on this girl's death because some crackhead ass motherfuckers are getting on uh, Facebook and YouTube trying to trying to get likes and, and people to follow them. Just like me. I didn't sit here and do this shit for no fucking likes and fuck well for the views because y'all motherfuckers been asking me to talk about this shit. And I said I don't want to do it. I've been dodging this conversation. I said my little piece on it this other day, but I didn't go in on it. But y'all said, man, you need to touch on it. Touch on it, fool. And I stepped away from radio for a reason. I didn't want to do radio no more. And I told people about their personal reason of why I stepped away from reason because of that, my friend's death. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to talk about shit like this. I, you know, but this shit is it's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And it's, it's a negative situation. But you're putting a spin on this girl's death and ignoring what's really, what really should be talked about. What really should be addressed. Shame on all you motherfuckers. Thank you. Share this video. Continue to share. Share, 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 share. They not going to like it. The government, most definitely the media ain't going to like it. Like, damn, somebody putting out the fucking truth. No, nigga, let them, let them stay blind. Let them motherfuckers stay blind. Let them motherfuckers keep supporting that shit because as long as they focused on that, we can, we, we can slip this motherfucking unemployment up. We can, we can slip this behind them. They, they ain't focusing. Shit. Because y'all worried about something that really is an open shut situation. It's, it's just clear. Because ain't no way you can, you can forge no fake ass copy of that fucking video, dog. You can't do that. Without somebody being able to find out that it's fake. If that video that the government showed is fake, you wanna know what? If I could find I I can do that. <laughs> I can find out if it's fake or not. I can do that. I can do that shit. I sure can. Y'all gotta wake the Y'all gotta wake the fuck up. Well, I'm sorry, don't wake up. Y'all gotta get hip. What the fuck is going on? Stop living this fucking. Well, who am I to tell y'all stop living the fantasy life? Be able to decipher fact from fish. Be able to decipher fact from fish. That will help you out a lot. I would hope that it would help you out a lot. I hope it would. You know, just keep it real. And uh, Dale. Mr. Coleman, I, I added you to, to the video so you can be uh, added to the discussion if you want, because I'm not going to be on here too long. It's just a few more points I'm going to touch on, and I'm going to let y'all go about y'all regular day. But continue to share, 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 share the video, because truth needs to get out there, man. It needs to get out there, because it's just too many motherfuckers jumping on the bandwagon and making this what it's really not, you know, because we got to look at the person that we're putting into a conspiracy, like, no. Now, why would you make a big conspiracy out of her? What did she do? Who is she? What diabolical plan was, was Kanika Jenkins going to reveal? I don't. I, I truly don't know. I don't know what you guys are expecting out of this situation, but truly, some, some people are thinking that this, I, I don't know. I, but but for, and, and, and you know what? You know what, y'all? I'm going to say this. Okay, Dale. I'm going to say this. For those of you that felt that, that, that you were buying into the story of the friend and all this type of stuff, tell me, why did you buy into that story? Why did you feel that way? You know, now, now, I, I know some people don't want to be out They don't want to out themselves that they, that they really bought into it, but why did you feel this way? Like, what, what made you, what really made you long for something more than what it really was? And if you don't know, I can I can break it down for you. You know, but um, I'm not gonna be on here too long, y'all, because 
you know, I, I think I said my piece. I think I said enough. I truly think I did. Um, for those that wanted to be invited into the video, I, I'm just going to invite as many as people I can and give y'all a chance to talk and say something. If you don't want to talk, say something. You see me invite you. Say, no, nah, Tishana, I don't want to talk. And that's cool. But I don't want y'all to think this is all about me and my rant and rave. You can, you can speak up. You can talk, say whatever the hell you want to say, you know. But please talk the sense, you know. But, um, yeah, this shit had to be touched on. It had to be touched on. I had to, to speak on it. And that's just it, you know. Um, Elizabeth, I just sent you an invite to the discussion. I know you were saying a lot. And I don't want nothing that you were saying to go unnoticed. Because I, I I don't know if I read everything that you was put putting, so I mean I'm giving you a chance to be invited into the video. So I, I just sent you the invite so you can answer it and be part of the live stream. But um yeah, I, I just want y'all to really just think about what the fuck you're watching next time and all these new Facebook stories and stuff like that. And it it it, it just it gets to me. Uh, there's a lot of different situations that got to me, man, and, and I guess this one didn't reach the all-time high, and y'all wanted me to touch on it, so I touched on it. I know everybody's not going to feel the same about how I basically <laughs> shredded this thing to pieces, but it's the truth, y'all. The reason why I can say it's the truth because there's facts. There's actual video facts. There's actual evidence. You know, it's neglect, people. She was neglected. And if you have anybody that's ever you've been around anybody that, that you that, that, that gets up upon the influence is really intoxicated and wasted, and you leave them to their own devices, they can self destruct. They could do pretty much everything that she did. I've seen it. I'm gonna put my brother out there. I know I'm getting trouble for this. Kid y'all not. My brother got so fucking wait. No, my brother, I had had a I had bought a um was it Hennessy? I had a bottle of Hennessy. Y'all know I don't drink. So usually what I do, I have, uh, I buy liquor and I just place them. I don't do it no more because everybody just like, oh, my shit up. I, I used to buy liquor, buy, and have full bottles hanging around. Some of y'all have been in my house, y'all seen when I do that shit. I used to do this shit in my old house. I used to buy full bottles of liquor and you know, I'll let guests sip some shit. You know, just sip some shit. But I brought a bottle and uh, I had went to my mother's house and my brother I told him, no, 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 don't fuck with it. I'm, I'm, I'll, if you want something, let me know. This motherfucker went in, went in there. I ended up coming back home to my mom's house. Later, well, no, it was early that morning. No, no, it was late at night. I came back. I had to come back. And um, he had been drunk the whole fucking Hennessy bottle. And it was about that bitch. He didn't, he didn't drunk. It, but, well, he drank it all the way up, but it was all the way It was low then. He didn't drunk it. And <laughs> I was mad at that motherfucker. I was so mad at that nigga, you know, because I, I, when I came in my mom's house, I didn't know um, what, what, what happened. I came and I, I went to a restroom, went, used the restroom. And next thing I know, my brother comes out of one of her, one of her rooms, comes out of the rooms, and I'm in the kitchen by this time. He comes out the room. And walks, and he's walking. He, he walked another room, then walked out of there. And I thought he was woke, so I didn't think nothing of it. I was, you know, I didn't think nothing of it. And this motherfucker walked in my mama's living room, lifted up her. Went to, he stood in the no. This is what he did. <coughs> he walked to the couch, stood over the couch, and just standing there, going like that. And I'm looking. I'm I'm at my mother's sink, so I'm looking. I'm like. I said, what's up, bro? He ain't saying shit. And he just walked. And I said, what the fuck are you doing? I said, he's sick or something. Then all of a sudden, he lifted up the little cushion part of the couch. He lifted it up like it was a fucking toilet seat and started pissing. I heard this. I said, and I looked. I said, hey, hey. I said, hey, bro, what you doing? Hey. Hey, what's up? He was like, man, leave me alone. Fuck around. Leave me alone. I said, hey, man, what's what the... And I didn't want to go too close to him. And he turned around and pissed on me. And I'm like, he just wobbled off and 
fell in the next room over some shit. And I just I just stood there, I'm like, this motherfucker, what the fuck is he on? And I'm sitting there wondering, what the fuck is he on? And I looked to the side and I saw my bottle. It was full. That motherfucker was almost almost finito done. I said, God damn. He done drunk all the damn Hennessy. Damn. I was, I was like, shit. But he did all that traveling around the house. I guess I guess he was trying to find the restroom. So he made restroom out of my mama's couch. Walk right past because the restroom was right deliberately across from uh the, the room that he was in. But he passed that and y'all know how it go. But um just give you a little insight that yeah, when people get fucked up, I'm pretty sure y'all got plenty of stories. But uh I know my friend Brady was telling me about his his the death of uh his hunger. Well, just they're white or whatever, like that if that makes any difference. But I've always heard a lot of deaths within white communities of kids getting wasted and drunk and and doing crazy shit or being neglected and they end up dying. I always hear about that. But well, and I've heard about black folks, but not a lot of black cases where people get drunk and, and haul, haul off like that because usually you can try to stick together with the person you with. But this was a case of neglect, in my opinion. You know, highly. It, it's obvious that it was neglect. You know, but um, y'all have to just open your eyes and understand and shit and stop spinning shit and looking at shit the wrong way. And, and just, especially the people, like I said, the people that y'all have been following. Whoa. Gosh, I'm disappointed in y'all. I'm disappointed in all you motherfuckers. I'm so disappointed in a lot of you folks. But a lot of y'all were very wise. I do acknowledge that. A lot of y'all were wise about the situation. A lot of y'all had your eye open. Well, what they say? The third eye. Y'all had your eyes open on this one. And y'all, especially my Memphis folks, y'all were like, mm-mm, I smell bullshit. Uh-uh, bullshit. And, 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 but to the ones that were really buying into this whole a conspiracy thing and the girlfriend, her homegirl was doing y'all was getting the story all the way all the way twisted and fucked up. Y'all would have sent some people to jail. <laughs> y'all would have been exactly what the government used to do to do to black people a lot. They still do in so many ways, but they don't really have to now because you send your own goddamn selves to jail and fuck y'all self up because it's, it's part of the system. Like it's it's embedded into your lifestyle now. And now these motherfuckers get on social media turning the case on people that probably would be the most innocent person out of the situation. Because they were, because in the beginning, y'all were saying that, that that girl was her best friend. When that girl wasn't in fact the best friend. Like, y'all just be twisting and spinning shit. And one thing about black ghetto motherfuckers that don't know shit, they make sure they stick it as like, it's the truth, it's the fact, it's, it's, oh, swear to God, I swear to God. Y'all swear y'all try to stick by that shit. No, man, y'all were wrong. You were motherfucking wrong. Yes, you were. Damn. But especially about the fake video footage. Yeah, you're wrong about that. No fake video footage. Because you you better have some you better have some 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 good money and some real goddamn pull within the government in order to, to fake off of the video. Because that's one thing, that's one reason why. My last thing, whenever the news asks you for your video, like they, you, you, can, you can video a crime or something happening, you ever notice they pay you for that, but they're going to run it. They're going to code check it. They're going to get one of their IT buddies to check the code in on that video. They, y'all didn't know that, did you? If they pay you for especially if they're paying you for that video, they're going to run it first. They're going to check that code and see if that video has been tampered with. If it's been tampered with, they're not going to pay you. Did you know that? You didn't know that, did you? Oh, wow, for sure. How did you know that? So they don't want to run nothing fake and false. They can fuck around and be caught. Unless it's, it's, it's from a higher up purpose. Unless somebody up higher say, hey, push this video as the agenda. Push that as the video. Unless somebody did that. If somebody did that, that'd be a different story. But I don't think this is one of those situations where this girl was that embedded into the, the, the fucking media and government to where she just had that much goddamn some, some type of secret pull on them 
and they uh, 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 stage her death or something like that. I don't think it was. I don't. I don't know if she was that that deep in, into. I don't think she was that important for, on their list. I could be wrong. Maybe she was a part of this. I don't know. But why would she be involved in, in a skank ass fucking hotel pussy selling set? I, why would she do that? Y'all making her sound. Y'all making her sound real, real terrible now. Because that now you just put her. You just put her. Y'all motherfuckers that put her. Oh no 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 no. Hold up. I ain't done. I ain't done. This is my last thing and I'm out. This is my last thing and I'm out. Keep sharing if you want to. But this is my last thing and I'm out. Let me show y'all this shit here. Let me show y'all this shit here. And I'm done with this shit. And I told y'all I didn't want to talk about it, but I'm talking about it now. And if I'm gonna talk about, it, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go in on this shit. Let me show y'all who these, who these motherfuckers can put her in the rankings of, or her death or her murder in the rankings of. Look at this shit here. Look at this shit. These motherfuckers then put this girl and her friend in the rankings of Tupac and, and Tupac's death and Selena. Y'all remember Selena the singer? Yeah. They put her, her tragedy in that circle. Mystery deaths and shit like that and the conspiracy deaths. They put her in that. Wow, y'all. Wow. Can, can, can I get a moment of silence? They put her in that, bro. Like, for real. Really, y'all? Uh, really? Tupac's death? Yeah, that, that's conspiracy like a motherfucker. You know, now we know we, we found out who, who killed Selena, her best friend. But they, I guess they're trying to say that not, uh, that Suge Knight was the one that killed Tupac was his quote-unquote friend. And they're putting her in the mixture. And like, no, no, you don't put her in that, in that ranking. This, this was not that type of situation. That's when you, once again, that's when you get fantasy mixed and confused with reality. That's fantasy. This girl's death ain't nowhere near none of that shit. It's a tragedy in the same, but it's not on no high-profile ass shit. Where you motherfuckers thinking that the government didn't tamper with the video, and and fucked up the everything, all that, and then compared like what what, what what the hell did she do? Besides go to a party trying to sell ass and being fast, being misled, being in a negative situation. What what else did she do? Now if if she's the pawn for something to come. Well, ghettos across America, y'all are y'all are into for some fucked up shit. But no, man, no, no, y'all, stop it, stop it, y'all. In the meantime, between time, I want y'all to man stay up, um, like, share, hell, uh, take yourselves to T Sean the One, like the page. Y'all can keep following, you can keep sharing, but keep sharing. I want y'all to man try to stay wise and stay alert. On what the fuck, your, what's going on with your people? Because this clearly, what they trying to spin, this shit that you're trying to spin, I don't know what the fuck. Don't be angry. Don't be angry. Shit. But I got to go, y'all, man. Um, I'm going to try to promise this here. I'm going I'm to upload it on the regular. I'm going to start doing, I guess, live streams maybe more. Since I stepped away from radio, I probably... I do this. I might, I might stick to it, but I just want, I, I just want y'all to get that into your heads, man. When something happens, take the time. Don't jump to this shit. Don't just buy, especially the people that's spitting out the shit. They got a lower education than you. Look at the, who the fuck is telling you this bullshit. Go off there. But if you disagree with me, you dispute what I say. Hey, comment. You know, I'm not gonna run for if you if you want to talk about this shit, hit me up. If you want to dispute me, hit me up. I am not high and mighty approach, unapproachable by anybody. I don't run. I don't run from this shit. I invite you if you got something you want to say or if you agree, say it. Talk to me. You don't gotta hide behind all this shit and talk to me. Speak up. You know, but that's all I got to say on this man. I appreciate all y'all for viewing, streaming, watching, sharing. Um, and continue on sharing and talking to others.
because people got they gotta get on this and ain't nobody talking sex in this situation that's my problem because it's fucking up my black community my community in general my people in general it's fucking them up badly because y'all are focusing on the wrong shit glorifying a lifestyle that should not be glorified giving that a pass to this tragedy to some shit that's, that's not factual as I said you cannot do you cannot make a fake video and the new and the news of the media shows it off and reports it because it can be proven as fake because all they have to do is take the code they can check it so people get your shit together question shit surveillance shit watch shit and if it's shit and it smell like shit and you're stepping shit motherfucker kick it off get it out your way do that but other than that man keep sharing hey thank y'all and from memphis tennessee i'm out this